Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. That's a Laro beat. Episode 38, now we in the cipher. Episode 38, now we in the cipher. Episode 38, now we in the cipher. Yeah. Said we in the fucking cipher. Episode 38, now we in the cipher. Episode 38, now we in the cipher. Episode 38, now we in the cipher. And we about to talk to Joey, etc. And etc. 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 Episode 38 in the motherfucking cipher. I am your host, Coast. There is no kid with the nose. No, I think he quit for good. He doesn't like me anymore. He doesn't love me. And I don't understand how because I'm so goddamn lovable. You could ask my fucking girl. Right, babe? <laughs> Never mind. Never mind her. I was asking her a question. It was supposed to be funny. And she said, what? All right, so episode 38 in the motherfucking cypher. I hope the microphone's not peaking too much. But, hey, listen. We got to get things going. We got to get this fucking show on the road. First and foremost, I want to thank everybody for reposting the uh, the thing we did this week for my joint no name for uh, Sirius. I'm sure we tormented a bunch of people up there, and I'm sure they hate us all now. But it's great because people saw it. So that's what's up. And uh, shout out to Mono's Best. Shout out to Kevin. Uh, shout out. I, I can't possibly shout out each and every one of you that reposted it because I'm going to be honest with you. I know a lot of people did it and I tried to fucking get on there and show everybody love for showing me love. But sometimes it's next to impossible. But you guys know I love you. So thank you for that. I appreciate that. What's going on with you guys? How's your lives? It's not like you're going to talk back, but I'll make believe you did. As I crack this fucking can of Coca-Cola that I'm not supposed to be drinking, but I have to. Because you know why? Because I'm fat. My back hurts, and Coca-Cola has caffeine in it. And for some reason, caffeine makes my back feel better. So, <sniffs> toast to that. This is becoming unbearable, I think, at a certain point. I need to get a bacchiotomy. Like, it's just traveling from the top to the bottom... And I go to the chiropractor, and he adjusts me. And he's a big guy. He's leaning on me, pushing on things. So he's trying to put things into place, but things have fallen even worse. The pain started in my neck and back, upper back, and now my lower back is fucking killing me the last couple weeks. It's it's getting pr- progressively worse. It sometimes doesn't hurt and sometimes does. I think this is why people sue people. Because if this is going to go on forever, I might just jump off a bridge. This is the most uncomfortable thing in the world. It sucks. Like, my brain wants to do things, but my body doesn't want to do them. My body's like, you're old, and you're fat. And you should respect that, but you don't. You should just probably build model cars or something and just relax. I try to relax as much as possible. I I do a lot of relaxation. But that doesn't help anything. Because I'm old and I'm fat. And I'm older and and I get older and fatter every day. So, anyway, I had a barbecue yesterday. Had a couple of uh, friends over. Well, one friend and a couple of family members. And I got a barbecue. I got a super deal on a barbecue. uh, Because Home Depot is stupid. And they were selling barbecues. I set out to buy a $40 charcoal barbecue, and I ended up getting a uh, like a $500 barbecue for the price of a $169 barbecue because I'm such a bargain shopper. That's because they told me that the barbecue I wanted was not to be sold. It was discontinued, but they had 15 of them out in front of the store. So when I took it to, to ring it out, they told me I can't buy that one, and I threw a fit and demanded that I get a full burner barbecue for the same price because that's what they were advertising. I was like an old Jewish lady. It was it was fantastic. Don't bring me anywhere with anybody selling anything. Because this is how what I learned. Even everything. Like you buy anything in life, it's negotiable. Just tell them, no. I want to not pay that amount of money. I want to pay the amount of money that I have in my mind. I, yesterday was more just dumb luck than anything. And it doesn't always work. Sometimes I'm shitty at it. Sometimes I end up spending more money than I should. But... At the end of the day, I got a beautiful barbecue on the last day of summer. 
So, round of applause to me. Here I am. I think I got a good deal. They're just like, ah, right, fucking get these barbecues out of here. Nobody's going to buy them anyway. Give this fat idiot a barbecue for one day. Good for you, Phil. So, today we're going to speak to Joey Etc. Um, Brothers Allen NNC on, I think I said it right, on Instagram. Uh, I'm going to let him tell you about him. How about that? Because I'm not going to tell you too much about him. He's going to tell you. We're going to go over his top 10 submissions for Murder to Beat. And we're going to have a downright fantastic time. Uh, hold on. I don't know if we're wired here for phone calls right yet. I should have did this before the phone, the, the actual episode got started. But I rushed into it today. Because it's Monday. I'm recording the show on a Monday. Because I, was, I wasn't I was going to do it on Saturday and work on Labor Day weekend. No, it's not that. I, thought, I Honestly, I thought Josh was coming... We couldn't get everybody on the same fucking page, so we didn't. And that's what happens. That's what happened. What else is hip hoppy this week? I don't fucking know. I think we should just call Joey and get it fucking going. That's right. What time is it? It is. All right. I don't know what else to tell you, people. Like I could tell, I could sit up here and I could tell you a bunch of shit and act like I, I know what the fuck's going on in the world. I don't know what the fuck is going on in the world. I know school starts. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, I know we went to Staples yesterday and stood online for a good forty-five minutes. It, it was a nightmare, and I, I, I'm like a big complainer, I guess, right? I complain about all the things, but that's what happens. School starts and everybody rushes out the day before school to go get the supplies, and I was one of those people. Me and my fiance, MC Daniel, who wouldn't join me. I wanted her to help me co-host the show today, but she wouldn't join me because she's too cool. Even she's too cool for me. Josh is too cool. I, I think I'm the only one that's not cool enough. I just do this by myself. Essentially, I sit in a room in front of a microphone and talk to myself. And then you people listen to it. And you, you like it, I guess, because I'm still doing it. Uh, but that doesn't mean anything. You could all be watching it and just hating it. And then just waiting for me to stop or die. And last night I convinced myself I was dying because my back hurt me so bad that it hurt to take a shit. So I, I diagnosed myself with butthole cancer. Turns out it's just my back because I don't know. I, I don't know. I didn't get a doctor's opinion on yet on that yet. But in, in my better state of mind when I woke up, I realized that it's got to be my back because my back's been hurting for months. So that's why it's my back. But in in my in my half sleeping stupor last night, I'm like, this is it. It's all over. This is how you're gonna die. Your your butthole is closed off for good. You're never gonna take a shit again. Cause it hurt. It hurt to take a shit. Like my back is all all sore back there. This is too much information for the podcast. I'd say I wouldn't want to hear about my butthole. I haven't talked about dicks yet today on the show. So. Uh, speaking of dicks, Larry was here last night, and he's a dick. He, uh, Laro, you guys know. He, uh, he's got muscles now, and he likes, he, he was talking about his preference of, uh, of what he likes to do. He likes to watch anime films. He likes to make beats. He likes to beat off. He, he likes to, uh, work out seven days a week, maybe eight. If they made a new day in a week, he'd work out then. And he he like he doesn't like popular media. He doesn't watch shows about housewives. I believe he rattled that off. Uh yeah, so he's got these preferences and they won't change for nobody, ladies. So if you're out there watching, you're gonna have to adapt to him because he's a he's a hunk and he doesn't take no shorts from the women, if you know what I mean. He only does what he wants to do. It was interesting listening to him talk about this and uh while knowing that he's a soft cupcake of a man, and he just wants to be loved. Right, Larry? Wait, maybe I shouldn't say that. It doesn't matter. He's not going to listen to this anyway. And if he does listen to it, he's just going to get mad at me, and I'm just going to tell him he's a fag. So, you're a fag, Larry, just in general. That was that was not necessary. Everybody who knows me has to know that you're all part of my, uh... You're all part of my agenda... Everything you do or say to me will become content in some way, shape, or form. So if you don't want to fucking deal with it, then you better not talk to me. That's how that's how I see it. 
Don't tell me anything you don't want me to tell the whole entire fucking listening public of Cypher Circuit fans. Because I'm going to regurgitate it out into the world. Let's call Joey, etc. We usually wait and get this on a little later in the show, but Joey's got a busy schedule. So we'll talk to Joey. And then, we'll maybe talk a little more. Maybe I'll let you go. Maybe I'll let class out early today. Uh, I don't know. Not sure. Oh. I have to burp. Um, let me tell him. About to call you from a 347 number. Number. Come on, Jenny. Don't go down by the water. Stay here. I, let's see if I dialed it right. It's one eight two eight seven beep all right let's try to call this number call about sweet let's see hello i hope he hears me oh it's ringing oh it's ringing yo i i didn't check the mic this week so i hope it works uh-huh. yo hello Hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. That is affirmative. So this is uh, this is Joey Acetra from the Redneck North Carolina Cypher Circuit Comedy Extravaganza. This is the uh, the what, what is it? The Redneck Kings of Comedy Tour. <laughs> it is the Blue Collar Comedy Tour is what Mo was trying to say, but he said the Redneck Comedy Show. Is there sounds like a <laughs> sounds like a rodeo clown? Well, well, Mo Mo is uh, uh you, you got to excuse him. He's he's uh, he's a uh, uh, half African American gentleman from New York, <laughs> and and you're all the same to him. <laughs> I understand that. No, no, he just likes breaking your balls. Mo's actually oh, I you know, know Mo's half black, but he's whiter than me, so he right. he, he likes all white people the same. I got it. And, but, uh, yeah, somebody ran in the comment section, you know, that my, my submission didn't have a Leonard Skinner T-shirt, didn't have a, a Confederate flag hanging, no dip in the mouth. And uh, that's, that's, the, <laughs> that's the crowd that's running around down here. So I, I got to do better next time. Where exactly are you at? Where, where is that? Man, I'm in Asheville, North Carolina, but right outside of Asheville uh, in West, the mountains, Beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains of Western North Carolina is where I'm at. Blue Ridge Mountains. I seen the pictures you sent me. Like you sent me a picture of a fucking owl, like one inch away from its face. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was holding them. That's my wife's owl. His name is Gremlin. He's a great horned owl. He's got a fucking owl. This guy. This guy raps <laughs> better than you, and he has an owl in the family. I got a red-tailed hawk too. You got a red-tailed hawk. Do you wear those silly yep. gloves when you hold it so it don't bite you? I wear you the yep. Off? I wear the gloves and all that shit, you know, because uh, those talons, man, they they'll fuck you up. I know. I I work in Harlem, right? Like, in in Central Park, they have fucking like hawks and shit. They come and they come yeah. land, like they come fucking. I work a few blocks away from the park, so they come. It's the craziest shit to see these fucking hawks. They're tremendous, and they come and they come swooping down and pick up rats and shit. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. Bro, they, these things could probably fucking pick up a baby and fly away. That's how big they are. Dude, a, a, a great horned owl will house a thousand pounds of pressure in his talon grip, and an average adult man has about 300 pounds in their grip. If your Mo knows best, you got about twenty pounds in your grip because all you do is type on the little keyboard all day, you know. But, but as far as a regular man, that's three hundred pounds, you know. And this, these guys got like a thousand. They'll they'll put they could put one through your skull. Holy shit! I'd like to stay the fuck away from them. So so let me ask you a question. Anyways, wait, 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 what the like? I I see. This is an interesting mix. I don't meet a lot of rappers that also, uh, you know, know this much about wildlife. <laughs> so, so, what, like, have you always lived down there, or have you ever been? So, I am from Wilmington, North Carolina, which is on the coast at the beach, and uh, you know, I had, uh, I had, that's where I kind of came up in hip hop and did did all my music with a lot of friends there who continued on their past some are still kind of involved in the industry i had uh made my way into some more illegal activities uh in my 20s and uh you know things happen and uh i i needed a fresh start i needed to do some things different so i actually ended up going 
coming up here to Asheville and kind of cleaning my act up. And, uh, you know, I always continued on the musical drive, but I haven't really, uh, you know, I had, I've been dormant for a while until I saw Cypress circuit, you know, but, uh, but I came up here, cleaned my act up, and this is actually, I started working at a park up here. I've always had some general knowledge of plants. I'm in landscaping and maintenance. And so, uh, so yeah, that was the next evolution. So I started environmental education and uh, moved into a couple other different areas. So I guess you could say I'm a naturalist. How old are you? I'm 34. Shit, we're the same age. How do you like it? But I know nothing about the fucking nature. Like, I'm just over here. But it's so it's, I guess, you know, you've been doing hip hop like in the same. We, we Like, I talk to a lot of guys that are from like 30 to 35 that got down with hip hop. I mean, got down with Cypher Circuit, but we all fell in love with this shit at like the same time. So it's, it's, yeah. it's crazy, man. And a lot of people went on that little hiatus, too, where they had to kind of come to grips with the fact that hip hop doesn't really love us back as much as we love it. So we got to find a fucking. <laughs> You know, a place to uh, to 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 legitimize our fucking lives and shit. But we but still... hey, but that's what I think is the beauty of of what has happened. And by the way, the the idea of a week long cipher that anybody, any shape, any form, any color, any age can jump on and be a part of something that's a week long, and dudes are just going as hard as they can to try to better their skills. I mean that you're, you're providing an outlet, I think. And, and there's this, this window, you guys have like captured this moment. You know what I mean? Because I had tracks and I heard you say on a previous podcast, like, Hey, I got like a fucking album I'm just sitting on, you know? And man, I've had probably 20 tracks over the years. Cause I still go to the studio. I still write, I still love it, but you know, life happens when you grow up a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, I, I had some local successes too, but I went down a, a different road, unfortunately. And, you know, but it seems like you guys are capturing this this moment in time that's like reinvigorating some of the guys that have been dormant for a little while and looking at it. Like I heard, you know, Chubb Hill said the same thing. He's like, man, I just typed in hip hop on fucking Instagram one day and this shit came up. You know, and that's I mean, I stumbled across the same thing. I stumbled across MCRE on on somebody else's page, like on a repost, and I saw it. I was like, what is this? Yeah. What is this? Yeah. This is fucking fantastic. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, it's it's crazy though, like that we're finding all of these dudes that are. I mean, there had to be somewhere for them to go, and and it, it's clear where they should be right now is right here with us. So you know, you know, just get, you got these dudes that've been doing this shit for fucking twenty years with all this talent, right. and now you know right. we're, we're not kids anymore. So this this is the outlet we have, and I'm not saying that it's not for young people either, because we got a lot of young cats getting down with it too. They just That's respect right. the lyricism, so. It's dope that we could all get together and bond over this shit and fucking, you know, have this platform. Yeah, yeah. I, I completely agree. And, I mean, I, you know, I, I, ta- I talked to Mo on the phone. I just, you know, I told him, I said, look, I want to be a part of this in whatever way I can because I've been fortunate enough to come out of some bad situations and put myself in a good situation. And just the, the, the drive that this thing gives me every week and to see all these other guys being a part of it and growing with it and, I mean, just seeing movement is just a beautiful thing to me. And I just, I want to be a part of it, you know? And, uh, and even this week I'm clowning around and talking shit on the videos, but I'm just, I'm pushing just like everybody else is, you know? And, uh, and I just, I respect what y'all do and I want to be a part of it and help in any way I can. Well, that's what it is. You just got to keep fucking repping, keep spitting them bars, keep pe- pu- people, pu- uh, putting people on and letting them know what we're doing. And I, I don't know, man, I could tell over the last few weeks it feels different what's happening i not only are my my phone blows up all day i gotta figure out how to like make it stop doing that (laughs) but like just if that wasn't like enough to to let me know that we're just taking on more and more people and shit like it just feels i could tell just the, the 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 environment the the way people are responding to everything and the energy that's that's going on with it right now, it feels like something big is about to happen for Cypher Circuit and all the members. And, and it either it's just getting bigger, I think, really. I'm not hoping that. I don't think it's going to blow up. No, and up look or, at y'all's view. I mean, looking at the numbers and most posted numbers and, like, looking at views and even just the, the you know, what y'all got as far as followers. I mean, seems like it wasn't that long ago where I saw the 15,000 posts. And now it's like sixteen seven or something, some shit. You know, I mean, I'm like, damn, it, it's it's moving. I mean, things are 
things are definitely happening and the, and the energy is there, you know, and it's just, uh, it's, it's a pretty, it's a pretty dope thing to watch and see it develop as it is. Cause I really feel like even cause I've only been shit. I only made that Instagram account a few months ago, you know, and, and started, you know, started putting some bars up and, you know, I started seeing other dudes and I was like, damn, I'm going to try this shit out and spit a little verse. And I was like, well, shit, man, these guys are fucking killing it. I got to do better than this. <laughs> yeah, I remember the first time you posted. I was like, yo, where the fuck did this guy come from? Just out of nowhere. <laughs> that shit is be- that's a beautiful thing, man. I love it. Yeah, man. Speaking of beautiful things, let's talk about my penis. No, I'm, I'm joking. Ha! I, look at you're like all quiet now, bro. Come on, I wanted to let you know how many folds were in it when it's flaccid. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> thinking about the thing is too is, and I'll, I'm gonna comment on one of the fucking guys I picked this week when when you play his shit. But you know, I started thinking about, and I got I got two daughters now. And when you got daughters, you start thinking about what fucking disgusting, filthy pigs that men are sometimes. Oh you know? yeah. And uh, <laughs> so I try to clean my act up a little bit, but sometimes it just still comes out. And uh, and I just remember some whole fucking podcast I was trying to listen to, but you're talking about like you know the 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 mate of the you know jungle having the biggest penis and fucking <laughs> this because he's got to like go in there and you know squeegee everything out and shy to turn that shit off. <laughs> Bro, this is this is very informative. I have to let people know. It's like biology class. They could hey, be- and you said you didn't know anything about nature. I that, mean, there you go. You I know? know. Yeah, you're right. I Maybe I'm wrong. But, yeah, That's it's, right. I, I don't know. It just happens. Like, in the beginning, Mo would, Mo would be like, you know, he'd kind of be like, we got to kind of clean it up and try not to talk about dicks. And, like, I don't do it on purpose. <laughs> it's just one way or another. I kind of do it now on purpose because I kind of, you know, I think it's funny. I like a good dick joke. You know, <laughs> I'm pretty sure too. I'm pretty sure that there's an actual, there is a, there is a factual number somewhere that says like, you know, the human male adult thinks about sex every like 13 seconds or some shit, you know? So, yeah. uh, I think it's just the natural progression of things. Hey, I think my comedy is just based off of dick jokes. It's just, everything <laughs> is one long running dick joke. So that's well, where, it, you know, dick jokes have been around for a long time and they're still fun. So I, I, I guess know. you're doing all right. I like them. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to get into these fucking Murder to Beat submissions. This week we had the guys, the respective rappers and rapettes, rap to fucking um, uh, Most Deaf Mathematics, which is one Classic. of my favorite fucking joints ever, the song and the beat. So Classic. Cl- definitely. Classic material. No definitely. doubt about it. All right, first up, we got Read the Infinite. I'm going to play the submission. We're going to hear it, then we're going to talk about it. Here we go. Nice. Here we go. Inspection, inspecting every sector where my soul and whole being. Never control, behold, freedom in my global low. Seeing sad shit, that's why I give when I can. To make a difference in that instance of plan. In the midst of this man's mission, commanding every inch of him, demanding him to go and never stop till they dig in him a great sight. The dark's excavated by daylight. I crave mics and crates, brave righteous, the space type. Don't delay, life is like a relay. I'm laying a light one up while I'm lamping. The sampling got ample ramp, so try some. I promise this crime is great. Got the A for the ganja, great high class. So my slime stay fine, grass. In my proper J, uh, you ain't with the smell, we lit it, so walk away. Ross the guy's kind of sore, sore, you can call me that. Know some homies pushing some quarters, like paying the laundry man's coffee, you tank in the morning. I'm getting some more, he called me back. That's a great feeling, I'm flicking these ashes, laying down, but I might be smoking good on my mattress. White sand preachers, watch pelicans, features skim the surface of blue water while we waiting for food orders. You caught up in mental boundaries, I found some ease. Honey, down to please, but you're not around, you please. Fair we should we'd rather fuck. All right, so tell me, what is it about that young man that you liked so much? So, look, and, and the preface to this whole thing, too, is I really wanted to try to dig into some, some other guys besides, like, the starting lineup, you know, and I wanted to talk about the starting lineup just for, like, 10 seconds after we do these other ones because I feel like there's dudes every week that are just completely almost above the fray, you know, and uh, I, I wanted to dig into some new guys. This guy – for whatever reason, it just kind of caught my ear. I like how he, I like his delivery. You know, I mean, everything just kind of about his cadence and the way he, the way he spit it. And I think some dudes on here too, myself included, when I started, it's like, well, sometimes you think your lyrics are just going to steal the show, 
but you got to deliver them, you know? I mean, you can't just read them off the paper and expect everybody to be like, well, damn, that line was hot, you know? It's got to be in the delivery. And I actually peeped some of this dude's stuff on his SoundCloud and his link. And uh, I think I think if uh, if he keeps posting, he's going to be around. I, I like him. Yeah, nah, he, he was definitely really ill with it. And uh, I like that you, you, you actually put the time in and went and found dudes that never rocked with us really i mean he might have submitted before but we never really we never really had him on the show like that and he's definitely talented right. so it's it's a good thing that'll nurture these cats and get them fucking uh submitting every week so that's what's that's up. right that's what i'm saying that's why i wanted to do it like that but i like yeah read the infinite i think we're gonna hear his name some more if he uh if he sticks with it and his his music's dope too out there word up man next up we got the fine print cypher circuit in order to beat Mathematics. The fine print. My rap addiction, so listen. Cross the niggas up like crucifixions. X marks the spot where I'll be pissing in addition. Detracting your division from existing. Shady politicians like Clinton. Now your jurisdiction is positioned under my supervision. Fail to pay tuition could result in your detention. Suspension. I'm old school like new edition. Make the right decisions and comply with my conditions. There are no restrictions to my verbal expedition. Explore many routes and knock you out like Sonny Liston. You wanna go again like repetition? Again like repetition? You wanna go again like repetition? My diction, far from simplistic, metaphoric mixing. Check the way I cook it like a kitchen. Cook it like I'm fishing. Used to do auditions. Now I'm getting mail like subscriptions. Under your suspicion. Some just can't believe the bomb print can't be ripping. Where'd he get that verbal ammunition? It's all about ambition, believing in my vision like religion. And now I'm on a record like convictions, the fine print. Okay. Yo, so what I like about that is, you know, when you write in bars sometimes and you switch up the pattern and you do, you know, when you dig into it sometimes, man, it's hard to keep the same rhyme scheme for the whole entire verse, you know. And that takes a little bit of work. And I don't know if he pinned that one for this beat. Or if he just had it on time and he was delivering it, whatever it was, it's, it was a it was a seamless transition. I mean, he he spit the whole thing basically with that like you know tension and everything rhymed with that. And uh, you know that takes a little that takes a little bit of work to do that. So I, I like I like him. I like his delivery too. Yeah, man, that dude killed it. All right, so next up we got I too dream in color. Yo, what up, Cypher Circuit? Another week, another beat. So, uh, yeah, say less, let's get it, check it. Yo, yo, exhume coffins and set a day urgently Cause these crews caution, they meditate murder sprees The shit you talking, you'll get awake certainly There'll be moon walking through heaven's gates vertically Better be steadily spitting heavenly Definitely anything lesser in measure won't get mentioned Essentially build my weaponry, feel the fallout for a century Get my arms up and put the world between it like meta piece If it's action you seek, notice the flow bronze And always reaching new peaks For me there is no stopping, I don't really do feats I end up the most popping cause my balls are too Heat. Lyrically, Joe Johnson, the dopest, the flow's flopping. My doses is so popping. You hooked hopeless or overdosing, and both options prove that I could turn one man into two hands with a few jabs while I shoot from the three and the hoop splash. Pouring the four, my man threw fives and we blew hash. I more than implore that you knew God should do math. How does one man got so much talent? Here's the secret. Well, if I told you, then I couldn't. Okay. I like it, man. I like it. he and it, his, you know, it sounded good. I could hear everything he was saying. His delivery was tight, and he just had a voice that it almost it, it reminds me of. Uh, it, it reminds me of some other like real hard hitting underground cats, you know. And I just uh, I think that yeah, I mean the dude has like two posts on his on his page. You know what I'm saying? Like he, I mean he just kind of came out of nowhere too. He's got nothing up there, and, and he may he's got some followers, so he may have like you know, been doing some other stuff too. But uh, I, I think that if, uh, if you know, if he hears us talking about him, I, I'd like to encourage him to keep posting because I, I was a fan of what he did this week. Yeah, that dude, uh, I actually, a couple years ago on Facebook, I had this thing, uh, I was looking for a verse for a joint I had laying around and I did this little contest and I let Cat submit and he spit the verse and he fucking murked it. And and he's a young cat too. He's like eighteen now, maybe nineteen. This Damn, week, at okay. the time he was like seventeen when he submitted this shit. And I heard that voice. I'm like, holy shit! This and just for being that age and being able yeah. to spit the way he spit and and like you know, st- when I started picking his brain, I'm like, so you know, what the fuck you listen to? And he's just 
He's just telling me all the shit that we came up on. I'm like, yo, this kid's got a right. good head on his shoulders as far as, yeah. you know, his taste for hip hop. I brought him out to Brooklyn. I brought him in the studio and fucking he came through and we made a joint with him. Me, Tabs, and uh, I think it was just me, him, and Tabs. It was, it was dope. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Because yeah. I wouldn't have pegged him. I mean, to be honest, like you said, I, I heard in him the the stuff and influences that like you and a, you know like Wu Tang like some of the older stuff like that we came up on yeah definitely in that other era and uh, that's what I heard in him and I would have never guessed he was that young because he spits it like like he's been around for a minute it, yeah he definitely got an old soul in him for for hip hop it it depends also like who you come up around because like my my son for example is fucking ten that's true and he only ever is going to know the type of shit that I listen to. So when he's good and ready to accept it, he's not even going to know about the bullshit. So I'm sure he had some influence (laughs) around him growing up. You know what I'm saying? Then that's all he knew. No doubt. I too dream in color. That that guy's dope. His, uh, Real dope. his rap name when I was rapping with him when I had him through was Prophet. So I don't know if he just okay. has his Instagram under that name. But like, yeah, right. I, I seen he only had two submissions on there. But yeah, I'm gonna get on his ass to start submitting more because he's really fucking dope. I'm going to too, man. Because I, I, like I said, man, he was one of those that I, I was looking through, and and I was like, damn, man, he he laid it down. Everything was on point. So peace to him yeah kid yeah his name is dan yo dan we need you man come on bro <laughs> that's it so next up we got cryptid 777 it's like yo my art starts when I'm faded drunk I'm an animal like aardvarks Plus my heart's dark like Jamaican rum If you wanna spar, you getting painted, son Till every party your face is numb I'm inclined to blaze a bunch of days a month Call me Gail Simpson, the way I'm creating puns My mind is teeming with destruction With my team, I'm in the function The fact that we're the cleanest never seem like an assumption I give my penis to your queen and it's a luncheon Fuck your baby for kicks like putting Adidas on the fetus My style's dirty like pants you haven't taken to the cleaners But it's nothing Catch me, I'll stage dive, I'll slap you to Say hi, got the meanest introductions The chicken only wants me for my penis in the oven She feeding for her fucking so bad I give her semen intravenous and she loves it She needs us like Chong needs a nugget Fonz needs a jacket, Gandhi needs Muay Thai A Michael Jordan needed quality ball time Claiming you the king like Solomon You hollering all lies, I'm the greatest of all time Buy folks a set of kiwis for a display of my ball size <laughs> Yeah, look, I was talking about men just being filthy pigs earlier, you know, and but dude, when he said, uh, he said, the fact that my team is the cleanest isn't an assumption or something like that, but I gave my penis to your queen and it's a luncheon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had to get him on. I know he's a, you know, I, I, you know, I know he's been around. I know he messes with y'all a lot. Uh, but I, I had to get that one up there, man. That shit made me laugh. It was, that was fantastic. Yeah, man. That dude, he, he's been fucking with us for a minute. He's another young cat. He ain't that old, and he's just been, you know, influenced by the same shit we love, man. It's great to see it, man. I love seeing young That's cats. Why I love that. And he's like, I slap you to say hi. Like, sometimes <laughs> I just like, I just need to hear, I just need to hear somebody up there that's just like, I got bars, and you know what, fuck. You know, like, I, I like that. I like that style. I believe him, too. I believe he would actually do that. He, he he just strikes me as the type of cat that just gets shit-faced and just writes belligerent bars. And if you walked in on it, you might get smacked. It's fucking Yo, fantastic. I love it. I right. love it. That was, that was great. Next up, we got Drive... Driven on purpose? I think that I, I'm terrible at I reading think that's Instagram. What it is. Driven, names. driven. On, I know because you like murdered my name for like three weeks. You know, <laughs> like you were like brothers N N C out. I, I don't know. You know, because <laughs> it's all lowercase. There's no separations on any of these fucking things. I need glasses, <laughs> bro. You need some glasses or something. You're like brothers, Alan, N N C, N all N C. I'm like, dude, there's not even that. Like, you know. <laughs> I just look at it. It's That's it. Funny. I sound it out. Motherfuckers yeah, driven, don't know. Driven, I can't read. Driven on purpose. I think that's what he said. I think it's driven yeah. on purpose. Yeah, that's what... It, or it could be driven known in purpose. All right. No, we're, you're right. Driven on purpose. Or you, is, could, or you could say drive non-purpose, you know? Yeah. I mean, like you said, it's all one word. I mean, what the hell? But you know what I hate is underscores. When I'm trying to search somebody, <laughs> or I'm trying to type in it, you know, on the on the iPhone keyboard, you got to hit like three buttons to get to the underscore. You know, I think that's just it's too much work. It's ridiculous. All right, so drive <laughs> non-purple up now. <laughs> 
Buffalo Ralph button, I'm stunting, nigga, it's nothing. Hopped out the whip on your bitch, straight frontin'. Born no hill swag on you niggas, let's do something. You niggas talking, but talking about nothing. What the fuck is we discussing? Who's that guy and who's not? When I was doing numbers, you niggas was on the block. I'm still doing numbers, you niggas still on the block. For ten summers, I'm finna have it locked. The hustle don't stop. I'm on that nigga shit soon as I pop. The green Maury's and watermelon socks. I grape Kool-Aid drop. I fried chicken, my watch. I'm hardly ever on time, but fuck it. Cause I'm hot, you hating because you not. I see a hater, I know. That's why I'm rubbing it in. Revenge is served cold. You niggas selling your soul to make it the way I roll. I'm hardly close to my peak. Focus chasing my goals. They want me to lose control, and I'm stuck in a box, I'm smiling because I'm good, you hating because you not, your bitch she wanna pop, but I see all in the spot, she said she rolling with me, you cuffing her like the cops, my nigga you need to stop, these hoes ain't loyal, and you ain't getting money, then these hoes ain't on you, said these hoes ain't for you, unless you really put it down, the circus says this, okay, <laughs> yo, what I tried to do too man, is I wanted to get a variety of cats, you know, and like, this dude, first of all, he said I fried chicken to watch. Now, I have no fucking idea what that means, but the sh the way he said it was fucking cool. <laughs> like, he's like, I, I came up with a lot of rap cats in Wilmington when I was like 16, 17 years old, and there was no such thing as like company flow or raucous wasn't popping then or nothing like that. And there was a lot of these dudes doing local hip hop music, and he reminds me a lot of that time period, you know, because it was like there was a lot of, there was still the flossing and the swag and that kind of thing, but they could spit. You know, I mean, they could deliver the bars. It wasn't like some of the things nowadays I think that we all have, you know, take issue with on some, some level. But, I mean, dudes like that, I mean, like, I just like the swag. I just like how he, how he spit it, how he told him. I, I, I was feeling it. <laughs> Bro, even like, this is, I was thinking about this shit the other day. Like, if you think about the shit that we used to hate on back in the day, like, a lot of people would be like, ah, such and such can't rap and... If you listen to their shit now and hold it to the whack shit now, these dudes will body them. Like, by, like off the top. Like, it's just so bad. Like, yeah, but yeah, that kid was fucking dope. I, I hope he submits more too, man. I love this shit. I love getting these perspectives of other people's, uh, you know, picks for the submissions. Because you guys dig deep and you actually find, you know, the the, the talent inside these. The, this There's a lot of talented cats that just got overlooked every week. So I think this is really dope that we're doing this. Yeah, that's ones. true, man. I'm I'm feeling it, you know. I, I and uh, yeah, I think we should. Uh, I, I think there needs to be a little more to that. And I think that if if they get out there and they keep submitting and people start seeing them, I think that's what you, you know. Some of the some of the starting lineup. I think those guys just push the other guys every week. I mean, I know it did to me. You know, I was like, damn, I got to keep up with them. So I'm gonna step my game up, and hopefully that's what that's what this this other wave of all these new faces is going to do and they're going to be knocking on that that top 10 door you know what i mean absolutely next up we got jay the lioness Look, I run around with a humble mind and a humble spirit. I hustle grind like Cassidy, can't be sedated. Sean did these figures, figure numbers wasn't adding up. Till I grew up and found out numbers wasn't purposeful. Perfect with a message on wisdom, flex, so won't stop my essence. Couldn't control what I'm giving, I follow only spirit. You can never understand my drive, cause you're never driven. Have to run a vision, me, you see it, but you never get it. I used to focus on high fashion and getting chickens. Now I focus on composition and not my competition. It's only competition, reflection, I see it's me. I be in the zone, relax. Like this is luxury Cause when your mind connecting your inner thoughts With physical movement acts Ideas can only spark The greatest you only know The knowledge to ever grow Ability to achieve And wings the only soul God knows Yeah Say the line up <laughs> Yep Come on You can't mess with that I mean she You know I, I don't want to I'm not going to say what I was going to say, actually. I don't want to offend anybody. What, I, what I'm thinking, though, is she <laughs> doesn't just sound like any other female MC, you know? And there's a, lot of, there's a lot of regular dudes, too, that come through, and a lot of them sound, you know, very similar in style. And, but she, she was unique. Her presentation, I mean, her delivery was on time. Her voice was, was raw, like, hey, you know, it was like when I turned that on, you know, I know you said before, man, I, you know, you listen to a few bars and you turn it off. Sometimes you got to, because sometimes dude ain't saying shit, you know, and, and I, I get that. I tried to give everybody a chance, but her her voice, her, her video was dope. Like, everything about that was, was fire. I like it. Yeah, I mean, she, she's she been killing shit 
for a, for a minute with us, and and she she never uh, never comes whack. Yeah, you're right about that shit, though, man. I swear, when I go over these submissions and I look through them, I could tell within the first bar, like just <laughs> just like because the way you open a verse says a lot about what you're about to say next. So it's it you does. Know, <laughs> so yeah, man, she killed it. All right, so next. No, up. that's that's truth, man. That's truth, and I think that uh, and and hopefully dudes that are seeing you know everybody each week when they just start killing it from the from the jump can fill up that whole minute like i think that's when you know you start stepping your game up she was she was dope i'm definitely gonna keep checking for her word up next up we got chase chase and nugent or chase nugent or <laughs> chase nugget entertainment chase and, chase and ugent <laughs> here we go yo See, I was never good at math, always last in class Sat in back, writing raps about how stats is whack In fact, I might not even pass, cause the teacher's a ass About to ask, how much longer is this shit gon' last? Think I'd rather be in Florida, sweating up a storm Instead of learning all these formulas and staring at the board I'm bored, now all these scores don't really seem that bad Half mad, I could be chilling on my couch at the pad Yeah, I guess that's how it goes, I'm just better at English All these exponential equations got me feeling like Beavis Can you distinguish the mind of a genius, a kind of linguist? I'm a little bit of both, got a to believe that it's mathematics. All right. Yo, so this dude, he's got like, I mean, somebody viewed this shit like 200 something times and he's only got like 400 followers, you know? So I, I don't know if that's by fluke or if they just looked and were like, damn, I need to hear this. I know that Chris Romero actually tagged me in his comment and was like, yo, you need to check this dude out. And so what I respect about it is what I like is when dudes are writing verses for for the jam you know what i mean like sometimes you got something you know you got something in the clip and you hear that that beat murder to beat and you want to just release you know you want to spit that to it but yeah. i think what i respect is dudes that are writing verses every week that go with the beat you know and i mean he his whole concept was math you know on mathematics and uh and his delivery was though i like him i like him a lot I like him a lot. I mean, you know that Mo, the shit Mo said about you. He's like, this guy looks like a, a park ranger, whatever the fuck he said before. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, this is the craziest shit to me. In 2016, like, when we were coming up, I don't know if it, it was just the way it was because we were trying to be down with hip-hop and, you know, we wanted to dress a certain way. Like, that dude looks like my cardiologist. You know what I'm saying? Like, in, in the face, the way he styles his hair and shit. So you never know what the fuck you're going to get now. Days, it's crazy no. to me like the effect that that this music shit has taken on to the entire world and it's it's just no the, and, but you're right though because i i wore i mean i look back and i'm like damn i, I wore some shit you know but <laughs> back in middle school and high school yeah and that was when like that was when it wasn't fucking cool if you were a white boy you, you know you had to be down with a certain crowd to wear that shit or else you were going to get fucked up in the hallway somewhere <laughs> you know and so, you know, you had to kind of, like, prove yourself to do shit like that. But nowadays, it's like, man, dude, just coming out like whatever. I mean, that, you know, that, you said he looked like your cardiologist. I was thinking, you know, maybe a dentist. Uh, I'm not sure. Do you need a cardiologist? That's not good, bro. 34? I've, you I've, need a cardiologist? Uh, my, my general practitioner, whatever they call it, <laughs> he is a fucking cardiologist, but he also is a regular doctor. But yeah, yeah okay. I absolutely right. need one because I'm fat and old and out of shape. We got to make sure he keeps an eye on me. Bro, so, you need to come to the fucking mountains in Western North Carolina if I hike you up, you know, hike you up to the summit. Oh, shit. How are you going to get me back down? You're going to put me over your shoulder? That's a good question. I'm I don't not know, sure man. about that. Actually. I'm a, no, I'm a fairly mind. large gentleman. I don't know if you're going to be able to carry me. <laughs> I might look small on the camera, but I'm a pretty large fella. All right. So next up, we got main right. course. I'm a blacksmith on a beat for a verse so natural Taking this heavy metal to lighthearted, casual Like the time of Hagani is only something fashionable Funny how the Bushido blade can change the attitude All you see is a blur, vertical, latitude Running through, fit the blood off of my mansion You look at it, dude, having you scattering Panic in the gather, get splattered anatomy After it's littering the avenue, you're right, though After spinning your guts tragically in reality Your inside jokes actually have you laughing too The language art of war, every word mathematical Divide and conquer, attack it to your fractional Multiply your roster, subtract every last you And any other additional regimen that's backing you How can this be? Intro informant post a page you Clip his knees before he had a chance to flee to HQ And couldn't pray fast enough I'm a predator 
Yeah. My precedents will resonate to residents on the regular. The gravity of agony, strategy of your majesty, gallantly is all glorified in my final fantasy. Simple mathematics. Yeah. Yo, so I like that whole, you know, him and that other guy, I think it's Uno, Uno, you know, you know, uh, is like his partner or whatever. Yeah. And they're both main course. I, I'm not sure. I don't see that guy as much, though, the guy that we just listened to. And uh, I just, I like his style. And he's, he's different, too. Like I said, I was trying to find a variety of styles in this pick. And, like, I just like he's, he's animated and he's talking about, like, you know, funny how the Bushido blade will change the attitude. He, like, pulled it out like he was a fucking man. You know what I mean? Like, I just, uh, I, I like that. I like the style. Yeah, I thought that shit was dope. Yeah, they those two, uh, they submitted one time going back and forth. And that, I mean, they maybe done that yeah. more than once, but we had them on doing that. And that shit was crazy dope. Because even both of their styles are, are different. You know what I'm saying? But they, they both, are, it yeah. complements. It, it's really dope. I'd like to check some of their music if they have projects out. I'm sure the vibe is crazy. So no, I like it. I like both of them dudes. Word up, that's what's up. Next up, we got another dude that that rocked with us before, but is real talented. Uh, I'm always feeling this guy shit. It's RP underscore TFO. I mean, one of the first submissions I seen him, uh, I started checking into his shit, and I seen him rocking with the fucking guitar, like pounding Yo, out a beat on that that's shit. That's what I'm saying. Yo, he's pounding the beat, strumming, singing, and fucking rapping. And like, you know what? I think nowadays. When you're pushing forward as an artist, you have to be multifaceted. You can't just be like, you know, all the, you know, all the time you just spit or you just whatever. Like I think that the the way social media and the internet has, and also technology has been able to. I mean, anybody can fucking put a microphone in their computer and record shit and upload it to the internet. So you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of shit to comb through. If you're going to stand out, you got to do more things. And this dude, I just. Yeah, I, I I love every everything he spits. I know he's rocked with us before sometimes, but same thing. He wrote that verse, this mathematics verse, and he just he just danced. He tore it down. Word up. Let's check him out. What up, people? RPTFO. What up, Cyber Circuit? Let's get it. Yeah, in my new minutes, I'll factor your faction faster than universal expansion. A hard and collider crashes, lyrical Pythagoras project syllables accurate on trajectory. So exact, no protractor can measure me. Same as competitive segments, I'm severing when I'm serving versus surging with energy, searching for symmetry and entity. On every beat, soundtrack from Amity produced by Newton. Gravity's too bitch to be slamming me. Fuck a word, Smith. I'm a lyrical word whiz slash mathematician, half magician, equating in a whirlwind. Rhyme Einstein solving algorithms on the rhythm, logging them and then leaving the chart. But y'all perimeters Rappers solve X-Factor and algebraic expression But then they calculate it wrong Show them why in the next lesson With certainty, light speed is what my verb is be I go hyper on beats and hyperbola Are y'all hyperbole? Peace Alright, there was a lot of nerd <laughs> words in there That I don't understand You know what though? It's, what, I like, what I used to like about like Killer Priest Like when Heavy Mental came out like some shit he would talk about, I have to like go fucking look it up. You know what I mean? Like I have to like look up in a book like what he was talking about. <laughs> and that's that's like what I feel about this dude. Sometimes it's like I gotta listen to it multiple times, and I like that because I'm a I you know I I'm a consumer. I listen to every facet of hip hop. I listen to even some of what some of the guys on here would consider garbage. You know, I listen to everything and. You know, I, I like things that I have to go back to and listen to again. Like like Aesop Rock, you know, for example. He's, like, one of my favorites because you got to, like, go back and digest what he's talking about. And uh, that's how I feel about this dude. I, I really like that guy. That that whole Aesop Rock shit, I don't know if you heard When that album dropped, the, uh, the Impossible Kid, I was talking about it all the time. That dude... Is just like and another dude that that gets down with Cypher Circuit that you probably haven't seen him in a while. Cole Cash, like I'm in a group yeah. with him. Cole, yeah, I, I would always fuck with Cole and be like, you fucking nerd rap, like just the shit he would say. <laughs> but then you think about it, and then you really know under, to understand what he's saying, and then the complexity of it, and then the way he makes it rhyme. It's like some dudes are just genius, and this dude yeah. RPTFO no, is man. he's one of them. So <laughs> that's uh, yo, I I totally agree with that. It's crazy, man. It's like, it's not enough to be a dope rapper. Now I got to add my levels of fucking genius on top of it to show everybody I'm fucking that good. I love it, man. This shit is crazy. <laughs> Only certain people can do that, though. Yeah, like you, you said, like Cole Cash. I've seen, I, I, I actually, you know, I'm kind of like a fucking stalker like that. Like when I saw all the dudes, when I started messing with Cypher Circuit, like all the top guys, I started going to all y'all's pages and 
listening to all the music and, you know, like the double negative shit and like all that stuff like that those guys have. And, uh, and I thought the same thing about, about cold cash like that. And, uh, and that, but this dude, the same way he's, he's, he's got something where he can do it all like that. And it doesn't come off as like, you know, you want to turn it off. Some dudes try to get real complex like that and it just don't come off right. You know? So, yeah. um, they, you shout have out to, to that guy though. I'm going to be, I'm going to definitely keep checking for him. Cause I, I like, I like everything I've heard from that guy. Hell yeah. All right. So next up we got Codeine Player. I know how to Player. say his name because the first, one of the first times, I'm going to be honest, the first time I fucking seen this dude submit, I was like, what am I about to listen to? This guy's name is Codeine Player. And then I heard him. I was like, yo. But this is, this is why, this is why Cypher Circuit is, is fucking special though. Because like, if I had maybe met this dude on the street when I was rapping in battles, in fucking the late 90s and early 2000s, you know, you would have passed judgment automatically. You know what I'm saying? Like, No, I did. Passed, but, that, that's what I'm telling no, you I did. Yeah. <laughs> Before I, I heard too, him. But damn, you know, <laughs> I just started messing with him, though, and talking to him. And, like, I don't think he is capable of being somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think he is, that is him. Like, he is who he is. And he's going to post, and he's going to talk shit in the comments, and he's going to be, I mean, he's going to be who he is. And I just, I think his style, he sounds different, and, and he can fucking spit bars. So, shout out to Cody. Man. Yeah, that that was the whole shit, man. Yeah, when, when I seen him, he's just just that fucking dude. And he kept killing it week after week. He took a little break where he wasn't doing much, and now he's back. So, let's check him out. Let's do it. Yeah. It's your boy Codeine Player. A buck, a buck, a buck, a buck, uh, huh. yeah. Yo, I hate working and when the money don't add up or maybe get do with the bills, subtract too much. I feel like the harder I work, I'm taking the pay cut. And y'all want to make it a problem because I roll up? Hold up, I'ma do me regardless of anybody. Give them headshots and follow with fist of the body. I swear to God, I'm a body. Any beat that you find me. Anybody thinking they hotter than it's a robbery. I am snatching egos and giving them free shots. You can call it a free throw. Cypher Circuit got me murking all of this beats on purpose. Overworking, rolling doobies with the urban popping perks and Fell them to all of the bullshit. If you got a 16 or you got a full clip, it don't matter, you ain't gonna do shit. It's cocaine, better not forget the player. Cause then we can identify who definitely's a hater. I bet it's you who's giving me all of them views. So high five for you, fucking idiot player. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm pretty sure he's like riding in the fucking work truck doing this shit. Yeah, you know? nah, I see like a dude with a mullet sitting next to him and shit. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, he's like riding in the middle of the fucking seat. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he's probably got another dude on the other side. Yo, he's like, he's like, he says, he's like, he's like, yo, he's like, you got a 16 or you got a full clip in a matter, you ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> Yeah, you man. Know, he's, he's I just fucking... like his style, man. He's fucking. He's good people, and like you know, he's always he's always supporting everybody. He's always on everybody's feed. Like, yo, that was good. You know, yo. I mean, he's he's just he's good people, and uh, and I, I've been messing with him a lot. I think uh, you know he when I was like clowning on Mo and shit. Like, there was some dudes in the comments that were like, "That's fucking garbage." You know, you trash like that kind of thing. But I don't give a fuck. I was having a good time. I don't really care what they fucking. They, people take themselves <laughs> too serious you know what i mean take themselves too too fucking serious sometimes but he's sending me a dm he's like man what the fuck like them dudes don't understand what you're doing like that you know i mean he was so mad about it and uh and i appreciate that you know like because he's 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 just supportive like that so shout out to that dude yeah shout out codeine player man yo i'm i'm getting hype about this cypher I, are you coming to the cypher was that something i heard dude, bro look man I would fucking love to, but there is just no way. I mean, I just, I, I don't think I can make it work, man. Ah. I mean, as fucking sad, as much as I just like to damn quit my job and fucking, you know, cut, maybe Mo will put <laughs> me on. Maybe Mo's got a job for me or something, you know, I can like, I mean, I'm good on the computer. I'm like the fucking manager operations here. I can do some shit, you know? So, Mo, if you got a job for me, I'll come to the cypher. If not, unfortunately, I'm going to have to, uh, you oh, know, man. Have to I keep, mean, this, keep this one I got. 
I'm sure Mo has a job for you. The only thing about Cypher Circuit is it's not a very high paying job. <laughs> we don't really make anything. We just do this to to, to make everybody happy. So if you like Look, to get paid I, in I happiness, <laughs> yo, I'm 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 down for the get down. I just yo, if I I think this cipher is going to be a game changer, and I wish I could be a part of it. But I hope there's more to come, which there's no doubt in my mind that there's going to be. There, there uh, definitely will be. I mean, I'm sure you've seen. I'm opening a studio in Queens with a video, a video and audio studio, and I'm going to start doing some ciphers out of there, and uh, I'm going to get members to come down to there. So. Yo, which is dope. And see, that I got a uh, one of my people from Wilmington, this dude DJ Nauman on. He uh. He's a he used to teach at like the Scratch Academy and stuff up there. Okay. And um he's in Minds One, like this group, they got they put records out on Ill Adrenaline Records and um they're pretty big underground guys. But anyway, he's in Queens somewhere. And uh but I'd love to tie in a trip up there, man. I, I mean for real. If I can I know we're rambling. I, I'd like to get up there though, man. I'd like to like I said, I'm gonna continue to be a part of this thing. That's what's up, man. All right, so one more we that was the top ten. But you had asked me, let's get on this submission from Chris Romero. So I'm gonna play it, and then I'm gonna let you talk about it. So here it goes. Let's do it at Chris uh, at uh, underscore Chris underscore Romero underscore. <laughs> All right, here we go. Stabbing the mic right through the eyes of the masses For co-signing that mumble rap trash And for disrespecting the classics If you're an MC, what you rap for? What kind of impact do you intend to make inside of this platform? Sometimes I feel like the tides are against us Guard your heart Too many people here lurk with hidden agendas The nerves in your body are printed Cause what I be pinning is godly Hip-hop is alive and I be writing rhymes to his heartbeat His verbal arm again in a mix of conscious And if the composition falls to the composition The rest of y'all get lost in the rhythm They try to incarcerate the art Was never plotted and written and meant to be free like Peter you can't keep it locked in the prison I already is I abuse the mic With uplifting words To diffuse the light Tired of trying to Prove I'm nice When I started rhyming At a young age I never thought that people Would be judging my poetry Off of views and likes Maybe the times will change And maybe we'll find a way Maybe this is how it is Maybe there's nothing I can say But don't you cry about How hip hop is dead When you do nothing To support the artists That keep it alive today You do nothing to support The artists that keep it alive today Okay, look, if everybody strived to to do what this dude does every week, this, this, this fucking thing is going to get bananas because that guy right there, number one, he, he's a positive dude too. You know, like he's not, he's not talking some nonsense I'm, and he's not just spitting bars and punch. I mean, he's, he's saying something, but he's just that dude that every week, he gives me that feeling. And I'm like, man, I, if everybody can strive to do what he does every week, I think that we are going to set a higher bar for Cypher Circuit. I mean, there's no doubt about it. I just feel like he is on the hottest streak. And there is a starting lineup of dudes. But, I mean, I wanted to play his because I was like, man, you know, the other guys that are killing every week, like Cineas, MCRE, Mr. Spills, David Blade, Cesar, Think Twice, I mean, Unique Styles, Nico, x The Baron, Chub Hill. I mean, all those dudes I feel like are like the starting lineup. You know, I mean, I check for them every week. I see what they're doing. They push me to get better. But Chris Romero, I mean, he's just, he's, he's just on another level right now. And I think if, if people can try to progress and submit on a level that he's submitting, this, this thing is going to go out of control. Absolutely, man. I, 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 you said it perfectly, man. I, and I think it's great that you got him on to talk about it. So that's what it is, man. It, it really is. It's growing. And we used to have like five dudes that were just next level. Now we got like fucking twenty. So it's it's crazy. No, that's, that's what I'm saying. And I wanted, you know, I want, and uh, the other dude I meant to pick this week, I really fucking left him off by accident. Was Anime Fam, Anime Fan eighty one or something like that. Um. Yo, he's got like a style all his own. That's the other thing. That whole starting lineup and even the even the top ten today, none of those dudes sound the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, they're all different. They all got their own thing, their own style, and their own delivery. And what they're bringing is is something new every week. And I just man, shout out to to the starting lineup and shout out to the top ten. Uh, you know, that was just and like even dudes like Scott and Miss Rhyme. You know, like that dude, he. Even from when I first started watching him to, like, you know, this week when he really tried to, like, come with it, I mean, 
you know, just the improvement that you see. And you've got guys like that that are in the background of the Army, and they're just pushing everybody, too. And, yeah, man. Uh, Definitely. It's and fucking until, fantastic. Until you just read his name, I thought it was Scotty Must Rhyme, and now it makes sense that it's Scotty <laughs> Mist, like Optimus Prime, but Scotty Look, I'm Mist- not even going to fucking, I'm not even going to front on that shit. I heard x Fan say it on his fucking insight, you know, when he was giving out like honorable mentions and shit, and he's like, yo, shout out Scotty Must Rhyme. I, oh. I would have never fucking, I wouldn't, I totally, you know, I totally bit that shit from x Fan. I, you know, <laughs> I didn't know how to say it either. It makes but, a lot more sense uh, now, I'll tell you that. It does, <laughs> it does. And uh, and that dude's always putting in work every week, and he's always on everybody's feet. He's always repping Cypress Circuit, and you need, you need dudes like that as the Warriors, you know what I'm saying? And uh, shouts to him, too. Absolutely. Shout out, Scotty Must Rhyme. <laughs> Scotty, Scotty Must Rhyme. I don't think. Scotty Muserheim. Scott, you, could, you could go that route. Or it could be Scott I Must Rhyme. Anyway. Yeah, that too. But yo, man, we, we, we're we talking up a fucking storm over here. I know yeah, you I'm got sorry about that. No, it's, I, I'll talk to you forever. I know you, you got a shit to do over there. So, <laughs> so man, I want, I want to thank you for all the work you put in this week and gathering all these submissions and talking to you, man. It was great talking to you, finding out a little bit more about just how in touch with the earth you are and owls and trees and Smokey <laughs> the Bear and all kinds of shit. And uh, every everything's connected, bro. That's what we teach. Everything's connected. You, you know? ain't you ain't lying. You man. may not know it in your basement. You may not realize it every day when you step out, but everything's connected, my friend. Yeah. But hey, I want to shout out Mo too. He was a good sport, and like you know, I was just you know I I I <laughs> heard him say the Redneck Comedy Show. I started thinking, I'm like, fuck, I drive a I drive a 2013 F-150, you know, <laughs> fucking the across from my daughter's daycare. There's like a dude that just fucking sits and drinks beer and car sticks. And he's got like a damn Confederate flag. And I mean, he's drinking a natty light at like fucking 830 every morning. I'm like, damn, I might, you know what? There might be some validity to this shit here, you know? But uh, anyway, Mo, if, uh, Mo if the shoe a good fits. sport and I appreciate him. <laughs> he's been, I mean, he's a super valuable resource as all you guys are. And, uh, you know, I, I look up to what you're doing. I want to continue to be a part of it, and I appreciate the the honor of you all having me on this week. No doubt, man. This is for all of us. It's not for us. It's for everybody. So we, we appreciate That's you it. guys as much as you appreciate us. And thanks again, bro. I know you got to get off. Thanks for the call, and I will talk to you later, homie. Yo, and uh, w- another dude, too, I just thought about him thinking in the starting lineup. Yo, Mr. Spill, that fucking guy is killing it right yeah. now. Yeah. I didn't want to get off without letting him in there because uh, I'm always checking for his shit, too. Super creative posts, that kind of thing. He's just but, uh, he's just next level. On some MC shit from one MC, like I said to Mo during the, when we had Mo on last week, I was like, like the MC in me, here's him rap. And there's some people that just got this extra, like, chromosome for rapping. And like you know, you know what I'm saying? I came up rapping with Diabolic. I don't know if you know who he is. Like I, I used to I tour with him. I, I made music yep. with him. That dude, yep. there's just something extra about his brain that he That's just right. puts shits together <laughs> and sees shit in a different way when it's time to rhyme. And King Spill's right. got like the same thing, but in like a unique way. The way he flips shit, it's like how the fuck do you even think like that? Like yeah, and, makes- and he's got a deal. He's got that style too, and he's just like. He posts so many bars, too. I'm like, does this fucking man work? Like, what the hell is he doing? You know, all he's doing is writing rhymes. And he's probably one of those cats that, like, writes it down or or does it in his head, and then he knows it. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't even have to practice too much. Like, he just fucking knows it. Like you said, it's just an extra part of his brain that works like that. It's crazy, man. It's fucking crazy. But that's, Shit is hype, though. That's Shit gets me hype. That's what it is, B. But now I'm going to have to wait for the podcast to know what the fucking beat is, all right? Because you're going to do the big reveal, aren't you? All right. I'm, I could do it. I'm As soon as I hang up with you, I'm going to do it. So I could tell you what it is if you want to know right now. Do you want to know? Bro, I got to know. Bro, right. I got to know. This week's beat is Camp Low Lucini. Oh, son. Uh-oh. Dude, you better fucking, everybody better up their game this week. This Yo. one of the all times. This one of the all times. It, 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 I, and I, oh, God, I love it, man. I fucking love that beat. Yo. It's the greatest shit ever. Hell yeah. All right, my man. Look, Coast, I appreciate you, and uh, I look forward to keep working with y'all. That's what it is, kid. I'll talk to you later, man. Thank you. All right, my man. Peace. All right, peace. So that's what it is, man. Shout to Joey, etc. 
This week's beat, Camp Low, Lucini falling from the sky. This is it, huh? If you don't know, if you don't know this shit right here, bro. Uh uh uh, this is it, what? Uh uh uh, this is it, what? Uh uh, this is it, huh? Lucini falling from the sky, let's get rich, huh? Uh uh uh, it's do or die, this is it, huh? Check it, check it, check it out, yeah, 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 yeah. I be spitting off the top when I kick it, always rip it, never with the rhymes not prescripted, it's medicine for the brain every time the diction, get inside the rhyme when I shine you should listen, specific words when I flip it, it's different, motherfuckers wanna act like it's scripted, it isn't, and I pull it from the brain, they don't really know that Philly been insane since way back, like Pat Sajak and Vanna, flipping all the letters on the screen when I see them. They floating by you, always wanna be them Impersonating how I rap for per diem But they don't understand the way that I kick it They should listen I like the same words over in the verse when I spit it Uh, motherfucker you should listen Like yo, this is it, this is it when I say it Never spray it, on time with no delay And it's always gonna be the way I say it is Playing with these words like a Sega Genesis And my nemesis on the microphone is Anybody that spitting all kinds of poems And they feel it when they love it and they spit it off the dome Yeah, you should know I'm never home Cause I'm out fishing, out wishing for a better day Every time I do, never stray with the thoughts Only on this fucking music shit, yeah Smoke it if it's just the booming shit, yeah you could roll up and spliff it different in my mind Yeah, uh-uh And I'm having fun with it Kill it off the top when I do it's dumb spitting Rappers acting like they nice But they ain't never seen this shit in all they fucking life They could talk about a bunch of shit and go home and hug their moms Doesn't matter in the house I drop a bomb on they fucking couch Burn it down to the ground and then I pull him out the window with a frown like, how you still alive? I'ma come back and kill him. Spill they blood on the concrete and then I spill him into the water when I dump him off the bridge. I don't give a fuck, it's just how I fucking live. Don't judge me, won't budge me, I'm a ton of bricks. Doesn't matter cause you is just a ton of shit. A ton of whack rash rhymes and your whack styles. Coming through with the Mac Blau. Nah. I'm just a really nice guy I like to have ice cream so nice try Acting like I won't punch you in your fucking eye My my, my my Stop acting like you can't get beat up Kill it on the beat every time you get peed on I like to pee on a rapper Yeah, doesn't matter I don't really care if you think it's gay that I put, 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 put. I, don't, I don't really care if you think it's gay that I piss in another rapper's hair Fuck it, I'll leave you there, staring like, what's the fucking matter with this guy, he's impaired Doesn't matter cause I stare at your mother and her dairy air And I'm like, yo, hey yo lady, nice coolie, fool me, into thinking that you might do me But then I'm like, nah, that's somebody's mother And I don't really care if I have to fight your brother Cause I heard she's an undercover lover and she's kinda freaky like Freaky Zeke up in Harlem smoking on the Puff Puff Leaky Selling crack rocks and I might see Meek and Nikki Be like, hey yo, you wanna lick me? You got some big titties and I think you frisky Uh, that was mad disrespectful Got this 4-5 in my lap, I might let go And I killed the whole beat for like 5 minutes And that's the freestyle cause I'm in it Episode 38 in the motherfucking cypher. That was Camp Low, Lucini. That's one of my favorite beats to rap to, as as you can see. But yo, shout to Mono's best. Shout out to Taboo, even though he's never here anymore. And he doesn't fucking love me anymore. <laughs> but uh, no, and shout to you guys, yo. Shout out to Joey, etc. Brothers, Allen, ABC, 1, 2, 3, 5, 5, 7, 7, 9. And uh, that was it. Uh, this is it. Episode 38 in the motherfucking cypher. Yo, peace out. I'm out this bitch. One time. I'm Coast, by the way. Coastlocastro.com. At Coastlocastro. At uh, burp on the mic. At fart in the seat. Peace.